Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out the Birds of Paradise palette by Revolution Beauty. So I forgot to do a proper intro so here's the finished product and let's hop into my intro and get started. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cher, aka That Girl Cher. And I am finally back off my little hiatus. So, um, if you're following me on Instagram, uh, I recently posted about me making a return to making videos. I know I had like disappeared for several months at a time and then like released a whole bunch of stuff and then disappeared again. But that was because I actually had a summer job that required me to commute where I was driving an hour plus in the morning and working nine to five and then driving an hour and a half, almost two hours uh, to get back home, depending on traffic. And by the time I got home, I was just exhausted. So I just didn't film. I spent my weekends pretty much catching up with my family or whatever events were going on and like other life stuff and sleeping that's pretty much it um but it's done i successfully completed the three weeks i did not miss a day i did oversleep a few times but managed not to be late um <laughs> um there were some hiccups throughout the job but it was definitely an experience that i learned a lot from and I really appreciated. So thanks to everyone at the Aldridge. Shout out to Namilin, Lorena, uh, and Annabelle, and Cybel, uh, along with Betsy and Meg and Claudia and uh, I'm forgetting one more person. I'm blanking on the name right now, but if I remember, I'll put it in there. But thank you to everyone. It was wonderful working with all of you. I had a great time. So, uh, moving on. All right, so I kind of did a mini haul as a real, like a gift to myself because not only have I been working this job, I made really good pay, but I also made the Dean's List. So shout out to your girl. Um, and as like a gift to myself, I bought quite a few products. Um, and I was so lucky that a uh, shout out to my friend Jasmine um i mentioned uh one of my last videos like a couple of palettes that i was checking out and she was nice enough to buy it for me so we'll be trying this out um so it turns out i was actually mixing up several palettes so it's this palette by makeup revolution and i'll show you what it looks like they're quite vivid it's very pretty and it's a tin case which i like is heavy duty and this really big mirror so that's really dope i really like i like that um I like how smooth the shimmers look. This looks like I might have to apply. Oh, maybe not. Okay. This chunky glitter. I'm curious to see how they'll apply. But I'm really excited. So I was mixing this palette up with the Love Tahiti 3 palette and the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, which is actually by BH Cosmetics. Um, it was a relatively cheap palette. But I've, I don't think I've heard too much about people trying BH Cosmetics. I know it's been around for a while, but I really can't speak to the quality. Can anybody tell me how their how their products are? Um, if it's, you know, if you think it's worth trying, like I said, it's not that expensive. I'm willing to, like, try it out if you guys let me know. The, but I think the Takes With Me Back to Brazil palette was also pretty big. I'll stick a photo and post. Um, but the palette I was actually mixing it up with was the, the Tahiti 3 palette, which I did order, which was supposed to be here Saturday, then it was supposed to be here Sunday, and then I got a message that it was supposed to be here today, Monday, which is the 9th, but that's not going to happen because it's still in Jersey. Um, not surprised. It's being delivered by FedEx, so hopefully I'll see it before the month is out. Anyways um aside from that i have been dying to try the tammy x 
also um, um, palette which is also through makeup revolution so I got um two of the face palettes which I wanted to try it specifically because remember, I don't know if you guys remember but I had said a couple of videos back that I was looking for more bronzers that were black girl friendly and these palettes actually were surprisingly reasonably priced um I can tell you how much they were or I'll probably stick it in post but I feel like they were only like 12 bucks a palette and they're bigger than I thought they would be like in comparison to like other bronzer like blush palettes I have like uh let me see like in comparison to my ABH like blush trio like you see the size difference I was expecting it to be smaller but I I'm definitely not mad about it um and if I'm not mistaken it can it contains um two bronzers and I think like possible highlighter and blush so I got both deep and deep dark um because I just thought the colors were so you know I'm just not even gonna fight with the packaging right now but I also got the palette to go with the collection and I think I got lucky because it was on sale like I think they were on possibly on their way out for clearance um i've been hearing good things about makeup revolution and i actually got one of the palettes as a gift for my friend jasmine um because they did a nightmare before christmas collection and the prices aren't bad i have to follow up with her to see if she liked it or not because i do know she liked the look of it but i don't know quality wise but i feel like i've watched a couple of reviews that had good things to say i also got this soap styler uh for brows because i keep hearing good things so i just wanted to try it out to see if it works i hear that people like it better than using a lot of brow products so anyway um i'm really excited to try all of those but i think i'm gonna do the tammy palette in a different video and i'm going to use probably chestnut soap styler brows today and I also want to do the Makeup Revolution um, palette from my friend. It's called the for, it's the Forever Flawless Birds of Paradise palette. So I, I like it. It reminds me of Rio. Remember the movie Rio? Uh, which makes complete sense because I believe it takes place in Brazil. So tropics, same kind of feeling. So um, yeah. How has everybody been doing? Um, I'm sorry that I was gone and I'm sorry that I didn't give you a lot of notice. I, cause the palette, so my friend Jasmine actually bought the palette for me, I think two weeks ago now. And I wanted to film a video that weekend, but I was so exhausted. I just, I just went to sleep. Um, I think I went out the side, outside to get like groceries and stuff. Cause I was trying to make sure that I stayed on top of um, meal prepping while I was working. Um, just trying to get back into my health kick and take care, better care of myself and my and you know fitness and being on track. And I just didn't want to um, mess up by eating junk. And I was in a little bitty town that that there was no commercial stuff around me. Um, so yeah, I had no choice but to make sure. I took care of myself or else I was gonna pay the price for it so that was what I did um and I went to celebrate my baby cousin's first birthday he's so cute shout out to Nylon happy birthday boo so yeah um let's just talk about I guess a little bit of what's going on I never I know I'm not too much of like a current events kind of girl but I do like to read you know gossip and stuff and headlines and whatnot and just you know being on top of everything so i know it's kind of late but i know everybody was trend it was trending not uh, about last week about the baby's cancellation for his ignorant homophobic like massage noir trouble making ass like comments and he's paying the price now i honestly don't want to really talk about him in particular because i don't really care um i feel like the baby's been pl problematic for a minute it's just finally reaching um i feel like a point that he can't return from 
also feel like it was really weird for T.I. and Lil Boozy of all people to kind of jump in and give an opinion. Just also want to throw out there, uh, the opposite of being gay is not homophobic. So the people that keep saying like freedom of speech, that has to do with speaking out against the government and not going to prison for it. Not, not for ignorant consequences you do have the right to have an opinion or say whatever you want to say but that does not mean freedom from consequences so whatever um of course do i believe the companies were being honest and they sincerely are against it because he's homophobic mm, partially I, i'm sure they have staff that are um part of the lgbtq community or black women working for them or whatever it may be um, but we know at the end of the day, it comes around more than anything to money. And if you are in the way of stopping someone's bag, then yes, we're going to get rid of you. It has nothing to do with us, uh, the companies morally. It's just about business, which is what I was go getting at is like, sorry guys, <laughs> I bought a new bottle of primer I'm trying to get it open. Um, I, I don't feel bad for when celebrities get in trouble because the way I see it is the internet has been around for a significant amount of time now. Um, we know cancel culture is not real because it's very selective about who it it benefit um, about who it affects. And I just don't think you know the baby has a substantial amount of star power and catalog for cancel culture to not affect him. And I know people are like, oh, the, you know, the gay community is really upset that the people that got him canceled. Well, you reached into a territory where white gay people were starting to talk about you. And once you start touching that kind of audience, you could forget about it. I think that sucks, though, because that means we're trying to blame it on the gay community when they it wasn't their fault it was also very problematic to the comments he made towards those who have hiv and aids or any form of other std people get stds all the time it's a part of life it's part of learning experiences some people are born already with um aids or hiv or other um forms of STDs that get passed down so it's nothing to do with you being dirty or a nasty person it's just it's just life so I think I think though what made the made it worse is that he kept doubling down but like I said I didn't the focus I don't feel like is on the baby I feel like it's on celebrities who act like they're not self-aware of how the internet works um, because you notice how, aside from T.I. and Boozy, everyone else remained completely quiet. I mean, even Chris Brown, who we never agreed with, told, you know, had, had the right idea of just do your show and get off the stage and shut the fuck up. And, um, that's not necessarily because they don't agree with his views, but they know how the internet works. You can't just get online and say whatever you want and think there'll be no consequences. And I get so irritated with celebs or people with big platforms who like act like they they're so sh surprised by when there's backlash like where have you been that you didn't anticipate this was going to happen where what part of the internet did you where have you been on where your opinion is considered like acceptable and like i said you're you're more than welcome to have that opinion but that doesn't mean you're you are free from consequences like and my whole thing is like people are like freedom of speech right or he's allowed entitled to have that opinion okay but what about your fans who might have had aids or hiv or are gay or black women that are fans of yours and now you've alienated them for what now not only have you like now separated yourself where those people don't feel uh, a part of your fan base but that also could have been like a dangerous situation that you put on for your audience. Like you were at a live show, people were there to see you and you just ostracized a group, several groups of people for no reason who did nothing to you. So yeah, that, that irritates me. But when people are like, oh, everyone's sensitive. Okay, so if everyone is sensitive and we live in an age where people get offended easily, why would you then just talk recklessly on stage or on the internet? 
Notice how certain celebrities don't say shit, right? Do you see Beyonce posting opinions? Do you see Jay-Z posting opinions? They've both been under like scrutiny and controversy and people asking them questions and shit and where mom is the word. Like you see certain people, they just don't say anything. Not because interviews aren't worth it, but know your lane. Like, I, I feel like I, I don't anticipate people to be perfect, right? There's no, I don't, I don't expect celebrities to get it right every single time of the day because they're human. But I also feel like they're not new to how the internet works. If you've taken the time to build a platform, regardless of what your platform is built on, you understand how algorithms work. You understand how comments work. You understand how getting things to trend works. You understand how things being taken out of context works. You understand how journalism works and quoting works. So stop acting oblivious. Just shut up. Just shut up. And don't get me wrong, like the baby's going to be fine. He has plenty of fans that are completely okay with what he said that that have no reason i mean who will continue to show up hell he may have even been gained more followers because of it but in this day and age where you're seeing direct consequences and we live in the age of boycotting and people putting their money literally where their mouth is don't act don't act oblivious i don't want to see it anymore i'm tired of it there's no excuse if you want to be ignorant, like own it. Own that you're going to be ignorant. Don't don't apologize, which is what was a corny cop out that he clearly didn't write even though he still proceeded to blame everyone else. And just like um King of Reed said like the baby may be a hood nigga but he's not stupid. And a lot of you hood niggas aren't stupid. You know what you're saying is problematic. Gay black people come from the hood just like straight black males do. You've interacted with them your whole life. You've gone to school with these people. They live in your neighborhoods. Like, it's not new. And you know that they don't bother you. You know that they're trying to live just like you. So what is the problem? Like, if you're... And my whole thing is, like, the baby claims, like, oh, well, let's see this kind of attitude when it comes to black people getting, they getting killed by the police sir wake up who's the who's the main group out there fighting for your stupid asses every time this shit happens black women and black gay men they are always at the forefront so save it okay save it they are not we should not be used as punching bags okay just because you are getting abused in one way and we all agree like police brutality is unacceptable that does not give you permission to come back to your community and treat the rest of us like shit especially black gay men who advocate for your asses who get the short end of the stick who are having an intersecting existence that is whooping their ass just like everyone else get over yourselves get over yourselves and i also think it's highly contradictory that everyone always get gets on gay men talking about live your truth live your truth but then when men are openly gay they still get shitted on what sense does that make somehow y'all still manage to find a way to blame lil nas x who has made it clear his music is not for children and y'all the same people who have all sorts of ass shaking and half naked women in your videos and i'm not shaming that right everyone has the right to make their art the way that they want to especially as an adult but that's not his responsibility and for y'all to act like gay that kids will get confused by watching gay people it's the same concept when you were a child did you not have crushes did you not have curiosities you knew who you were. You may not have had a word for it, but you knew who you were. And it's the exact same thing for gay kids. And you'll say, let them figure it out. But then when they're of age and saying, oh, yes, I own this, you still shit on gay people. You should still shit on specifically black gay men who own their sexuality, but then you also shit on get black gay men who are on the DL. So which is it? Because one 
one is it exists because of the way that you treat them you want dl men to stop existing then you need to stop being homophobic there's no other way around it clearly people feel the need to lie because they don't feel safe within their own community and that speaks volumes because i've spoken to multiple black gay men or listened to stories of black gay men and some of them do truly feel safer as black gay men in white spaces even though they want to be around more black people but because we're so fucking homophobic they don't feel comfortable with us so anyway didn't mean to rant but celebrities really need to stop acting stupid and i need i need black people to get it together so sorry i'm just cleaning up my brows a bit and aside uh so moving on to the next thing is i've been noticing the last uh week or so that youtube channels keep getting deleted uh specifically black channel creators so i don't know if you guys watch bondi blue um she i think has over either 40 or 80,000 subscribers on her channel and she woke up to it randomly being deleted and this is actually i believe bondi's second or third time of her channel being deleted um, and she did make two backup channels and luckily was able to restore her channel, but that's scary. Um, it also happened to Alexander Rogers, who I also watch, where his channel got deleted and luckily he was able to reach out to someone who got it to come back. Um, I don't think Alexander has a backup channel at this moment. And I want to say Ashley Miller got hers deleted or was worried that hers would get deleted um because it keeps happening it's happened to several people so i don't have an audience big enough where i feel like i need a backup channel but um i will be on the lookout just in case as my community continues to grow that that's something i need to do youtube i don't i don't know what's going on but uh i need y'all to get it together because that's that's kind of terrifying um so yeah, I I think that was pretty much it. I haven't, like I said, been I haven't been watching TV. I haven't caught up on anything. I did see Luca last night. Watched that from home. Super cute. Super cute. Um, I do feel like the story was lacking a little bit because I was good. I thought they were gonna explain how they became mermaids and how they walk on land and stuff, but they didn't. But it was a, it was a cute film nonetheless. Um, it takes place in Italy. I think it's a Disney movie if you guys haven't seen it. Or heard of it um it's animated but it was cute so i like um so yeah let's uh jump into me starting the review of these products so um i just put set my brows with some brow gel i realized that kind of defeats the purpose since i was using a soap styler um this is what the packaging looks like outside the box it's like a rose gold color um, it's really pretty. I like it. It's a hard plastic case. Uh, let's see if I can get it open with my nails. Okay. Oh, it does come with a little mirror inside and a block of soap. So if I'm not mistaken, I think I just, it's water activated. It says dampen the applicator and swipe across the soap brush gently across the brows in desired direction to create a 3D look or use without water to hold them in place. Oh, okay. Uh, and it looks like a little mini toothbrush. It's a little black one. So I wonder, it says you can use it without it. Let's pray it doesn't break me out because your girl got sensitive skin. Okay, okay. Well, I do like the brush. Um, it does seem to pick up all my hairs nicely. Okay, I do see the soap. I'm assuming it'll like lock it into place after it dries. But I do see the difference. They look a little fuller. And I wonder if it's supposed to add like more texture. Because that's what it, it kind of looks like. They say you can use it without water. Um, I guess you could. I don't know how that would work. And I just like to brush all my hair up, brow hair upwards to make sure I get all of it. 
and then brush it back down. In case you're wondering why I do it like that. Okay. In the soap. It kind of has a smell, but I don't know how to describe it. It might just be like regular bar soap with no with no um scent in it. I think I have to break this off. Just so you know, I have like a little bowl of water here. Cause I knew I was gonna have to wet my beauty blender. And uh yeah. Also, okay, so that's cute. Only complaint I have about these like metallic looking cases is that your finger they get filthy. Your fingerprints, at least for me, get all over them. That's annoying. So they're drying down. Um, I do think they have a little bit more texture. I hope they're not going to dry down white. Um, I've been having issues with my eczema as of late. Last week, I had like a whole patch of dandruff throughout my left brow for whatever reason. Which is new because I wasn't getting that before. But okay they dry pretty quickly all right so also i was gonna say is i realized i buy primer but i keep forgetting when i'm doing my face on camera to prime my face for whatever reason um so i do here have here the milk hydro grip primer um i think the question of the day is does it contain silicone because I threw out the packaging, I don't have the ingredients and it's not listed on this bottle, unfortunately. Um, but I'm going to start by priming my face with it. And the person I was thinking of that reviews makeup and test products is Robert Welsh. He has a brother, um, but I can't think of what his brother's name is. His brother does skincare and Robert does makeup. Um, but Robert was saying he doesn't like face primers. Um, I mean, I guess I've done my face a few times without using face primer and it hasn't been the end of the world, but I think I just like having a barrier though between my make myself, my, the makeup and my skin. Um, so it just, you know, helps my skin feel refreshed. I think as a person whose face tends to dry out and yeah i just like having that added layer of protection especially when it comes to like trying not to sweat your makeup off or you know have your face looking crazy after a little while it just it gives me a boost at least to me it does um yeah so it dries down it's like a gel more than it is a spray like i usually prime with either the primer water by smashbox um and i think if i'm not mistaken robert says if he does wear a primer he doesn't like prime like spray to set but i feel like setting it with a spray has made a big difference for me of course he always says like preference you know if it works for you keep it so my personal preference is i do like to set before and after uh so yeah it's i'm trying to describe it to you my face is a little sticky but not uncomfortably so like i don't feel like my face is stiff or anything um it absorbed pretty well it leaves like a really light light shine on my on my face i'm making sure to get my chin and everything i've been I'm having like a little bit of hyper hyper pigmentation in those areas so i just want to make sure they're all covered okay so now that my face is primed and dry i'm gonna go in with my concealer so as you know i've been like using the lighter concealer underneath and the slightly closer to my skin tone one on top and i like it Ooh, okay that's that's a new sensation i do feel like my skin is burning a little bit um 
not over my eyebrows where you'd expect because I just was like messing with the skin. I shouldn't say burn, I should say like stinging. But that also could be because I was rubbing my face, so there might be a mild irritation right there um, on my chin. So I just did a quick swipe under my eyes and my dampened beauty blender. And I'm just gonna pat it down to bring it all the way up under my eyes. Um, I'm also gonna do it on my chin. to the bump because I'm I don't really like accentuating the bridge of my nose too much because I already feel it's kind of narrow there so no need to act overly emphasize it um and I am gonna do some above my lip and I'm trying to go with light layers right now so that's why i'm not i don't want to overdo it you know okay so that is done i know i said at some point i'm gonna test out uh highlighting underneath but i'm gonna skip it for today um do i want to conceal i think i will use the deeper concealer under my lip just for some definition um i think otherwise i don't need the be today okay and now i'm actually just not going to use my born this way foundation because i know she's on her way out so i'm just going to go straight for the maybelline uh fit me foundation in the shade 355 which is coconut this is the dewy and smooth one they do make a matte one, but I feel like the matte formula is just a little too dry on my face. Um, so I prefer the dewy and smooth. I know a lot of people don't really like luster dewy foundations. They feel like they just look greasy, but I, I just think they look better on my complexion. I'd rather just use one and then if I have to mattify it down and just do that, then to use a matte, like start with a mattifying foundation. You know what I mean? Just so I have the extra hydration. And I am going over my eyelids. Um, I might be a little darker up top because um, at work I have been, I ha it was mandatory to wear a mask even though we are vaccinated because um, we're working with children. So that might be a little bit noticeable, but otherwise I think I'm in the clear. Um, I wonder if you can buy like foundation pumps to add to your foundation bottles that don't come with one. Cause I feel like a lot of product must get wasted from not having a pump because I don't need all this product like I could try to scrape it back into the bottle but there's no guarantee it'll be successful also you guys can see my hair is braided I did get it braided up for work because like I said I was getting up really early so I just didn't have the time to do my hair so I went and get it braided up so shout out to Rochelle um, in Hartford. I'll tag her IG um, when I post for IG and I'll put in her IG name um, in the description. So she's really dope. I liked, I liked my experience with her. I would definitely go back and I can recommend her. Okay, so foundation is on. I need a makeup book. Oh no, I need a new pack of makeup wipes. <laughs> One wipe left. All right, uh, we shall make it work. That's all you can do. I got some micellar water too, so no worries. But that's not too bad. 
And I like I said, I like the finish on it. And I feel like I can already see the difference with this the way this primer is like sitting. Um, I feel like normally my foundation absorbs a little bit quicker. But it does seem like you no, know, it's taking a second for the product to absorb. My beauty blender could have just been a little bit too damp. Um, but I'll continue to blend. I also think I'm due for a new beauty blender. But I do like how it sits on my skin already. That's a big difference. So I'm gonna go back in with that other concealer. Wait, let me make sure before I use it. Okay. <laughs> um, down the tip of my nose, and I'm gonna bring this one further down. Go over my chin again. I'm gonna go a little bit lower than right under my eye. For this area, you know, similar how to do the, the triangle but I'm not, um, I don't want the triangle because it's a little too extreme for my face shape. But just, just trying to do, touch up the spots. And I know some of you are probably like, so why do you use two concealers? I just, I just like the way it looks. I feel like after taking time off from makeup to focus on art more, I think I understand color theory a lot better than I did previously and about how your face is made up of different shades and I find the best face of makeup is one that looks made up but also just looks like a real face like for me personally um I don't like hiding my skin I like to improve the look of it of course but I want to still look like me but you know just better um with makeup on not I'm not trying to be someone different I mean sometimes I am depending on what the look is but in most cases no I'm just I'm just trying to be myself And I, I contoured right here instead of on my directly on my nose because I don't want to manipulate the shape of my nose too much. Um, I really don't like when I see like the very obvious concealer down the nose. Um, I understand like the purpose is to create the illusion of a different nose shape, but I feel like if I can see the lines of where you've done it, then it's not successful if that makes sense. I want to say also I got this method more so from um, Jackie Ina of like how she contours her nose. I think she calls it a non-tour because the idea isn't to change your entire face shape or I should say your nose shape rather. It's just to... Um, Compliment it, you know, because everybody's got it's not everybody's got a little nose, but that's okay. Like, you don't, your nose is the nose that you got because it's the nose for that fits your face, you know. And I'm saying this as somebody who has like a love hate relationship with their nose. Like, I think I just started to like my nose the way it is in the last couple of years because, <laughs> kid me kid share you couldn't tell me nothing i was gonna save up money and i was getting a nose job but i feel like give have haven't given it time i've grown into my nose my mom says i had my father's nose when i was younger now i have her nose so <laughs> your face shape does change i know it's hard to believe that but it does like your body changes, like your shape changes. Like you'd be surprised at what you end up with. Although I do blame myself because I asked the universe for boobs and they gave me boobs and now 
kind of regret that. But you know, hey, they here. They, you know, make my sweaters look nice. I like some boobies. They a bit much sometimes, but you know, they doing, they here serving the purpose. And I think that's it. I think I am gonna contour my forehead just for today's sake because I don't, there's not really sun out. So even though I am gonna bronze, I can get away with it today. Now, it's been overcast for the last few days, which is why, like, I think this contour would be okay if I was to go outside rather than traditionally bronzing, uh, cause there's really no sun. But, um, I'm gonna do both anyway. Okay, guys, hi again. So this time I'm actually filming from my phone, not because my camera died, but because apparently my memory card ran out of space. And I just didn't want to get up for where I was to go empty it and bring it back. So I'm just gonna finish the video on my phone. Okay, anyway, so full face is on. Now I'm gonna move on to eyes. And you know what? I really should have started with eyes first for the sake of fallout for flawless skin, but it's okay, we'll make it work. You guys have seen me do my full face a few times, so you already know what to expect so like i said i'm gonna be using the birds of paradise palette by makeup revolution so we bought to test this baby out to see what the quality is looking like so first things first as always i'm gonna go ahead and prime with the p louise rumor number four primer i love this primer um there was another primer by another company because i've been i've been trying to find more black owned makeup company uh products to trust test out so uh bear with me also if you come across any that you see that you want me to try or you recommend please let me know i would love to check it out i don't remember which of these brushes i used i'm gonna assume it was this one because that looks like the brush i usually use i'm a mess i'm a mess she's been gone for three weeks and her life is in shambles so anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my entire lid of both eyes and like I said last time I'm trying to go through the whole colors of the rainbow to well I shouldn't say rainbow because rain rainbows don't include brown and black do they I'm, I'm just trying to go through all the basic colors to create an eye look and I was watching Bailey Syrian if you know you know um and she was doing it was an older episode it was uh, like this purple look that she did and I was like "Ooh, that's gorgeous I want to try that um but I feel like with this new palette I don't know if I'm gonna do that today I might try something the eye giving me trouble like i know that y'all not shaped perfectly identical but work with me here and then you got to look at them head on to make sure they match all right so primer on let's check out this palette so i really like these greens I like this cardinal red this fiesta is beautiful I also like take flight and exotic is gorgeous too so I could either do I'm thinking these three or these three they also have a few purples in here um god damn and that canary is beautiful too I think I'm gonna try a green I think I'm gonna see how the green goes. I'm kind of curious. So I'm just gonna get an eyeshadow brush and apply the color all over my lid. So this is a Morphe 
M506. It's short and fluffy. Uh, you do see some like purple residue, but I promise it's clean. I just cleaned it in the little thing I've been using. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in with the color budgie. I think that's how you say it. I think that's a kind of bird. I'm sorry about the glare, y'all. Can you see it better now? This color right here, and apply that all over my lid. Um, I feel like I could get a couple different looks out of this. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty green. It's very Beetlejuice green. Speaking of Beetlejuice, okay, so shout out to Glam Goth Beauty. Um, if you don't follow her, she's another fellow YouTuber with her own makeup brand, and she's an alternative black girl. You should definitely be following her if you're not already. And she's had her own makeup line for a minute. I think, I think I've worn her glitters and her um her lipsticks on my channel before. Um, and I I have been using her glitters recently on a client. I think I haven't used the glitters on myself yet. I think that's what it was. Uh, but anyways, they're carrying her a couple of her products in a uh, hot topic now, and but they're only carrying like a couple jars of the glitters. I also want to say the glitters are smaller, smaller than the ones that I have, like her traditionally sized ones, and they're only doing they're only doing uh, two of her lipsticks, so the red and the black. I have the I have her red lipstick already. I have a black lipstick from um, I think Lime Crime. Uh, and they're she has coming out with a makeup palette called the Renaissance, which I might cop to the review on this channel. Um, but it's not in person; it's online only. Um, but, so the sales lady, like I'm asking her about like the products, like, oh, do you have it in stock? Okay, so let me start over. I went to the mall yesterday. <laughs> Rewind, Cherokee. Okay, so I went to the mall yesterday specifically because i was in search for a jigsaw puzzle why a jigsaw puzzle well i don't know i just i think because i've been working with kids and like doing more stuff that plays with my you know my mind just doing games and stuff i just really had the urge to do um a jigsaw puzzle and i i do crossword puzzles and stuff on uh, the occasional occasion or um uh, um, word searches like I, I keep a couple of those around because every now and again I just enjoy doing them so I went to the mall because they have a game store it was closer to me than the bookstore because I actually found out the bookstore that is nearby me is actually closed and I tried I tried Dollar Tree because sometimes you know they have a kids section but they they just had like book puzzles not jigsaw puzzles so anyway go to the mall i end up at hot topic because i keep losing my body jewelry and i was looking for a replacement septum ring which is this clicker that i have in right now which i wish jewelry companies for making body jewelry when you make clickers would make them left-handed friendly um luckily i'm a person who's kind of right-handed dominant so i i have some dexterity with using both hands but it's really hard sometimes when i have to put jewelry in which is what is considered forward but would be backwards for me to get my coordination right it takes me longer and it doesn't help because my whole household is also left-handed so i can't even go to one of them to ask for help because they have the same problem that i do but anyway um i'm asking the lady about i'm at checkout at this point because i've picked out what i wanted and i asked you know about glam Goff's stuff and I specifically ask about the palette because I'm like, no, I already have these colors, don't need these glitters. And um, I was just curious like what they were retailing for. So she's like, well, the palette's not in person. We have it online. Look at that color. Do you see this payoff? Like there's a little bit of, actually I can't even say there's very much fallout. Like I'm, I'm having to apply a bit more, but to be honest, that really doesn't bother me because I feel like it's showing up like it's creasing but that's I also have hooded oily lids so I, I, I'm not I'm not bothered by that but you see how like vividly green this is that's really nice it really reminds me of Beetlejuice which is which is this this story is getting to this point I, pro I promise so she's like um no we don't we we can order the palette online for you and i was like no it's okay because i'm thinking like if i want it bad enough 
since you don't have it in store i'll just go cop it directly from her website it would make sense no sense to go through hot topic to get it because i've already shopped directly with glam goth so she's like well we do have this like beetlejuice palette um i'll go grab it for you so you can you know check it out i'm like I'm not. internally i already know i'm not gonna buy it but i'm like sure because i'm thinking maybe it's similar to the melt cosmetics collection that they did which was gorgeous but i was a broke bitch at the time so couldn't participate but i would have loved that palette tell me why she comes back with this dinky palette which i wasn't surprised because it's hot topic like glam goth glam goth's makeup and like their hair dyes like the highest quality cosmetic products they have in there but why did she open the palette and the palette is full of pastels now if anyone has seen beetlejuice you know that there's nothing pastel about beetlejuice whatsoever i think the person who wore the lightest colors in the whole movie was the dead wife and that's because her dress was floral no one there's nothing pastel about it i was expecting like green like this green i have on like a deeper shade of green a deep deep dark green maybe some a sparkly definitely a black a red like come on beetlejuice and the iconic lydia you, they were in the freaking underworld for goodness sakes it's how are you now i know some of you are like like my i was telling my friend jasmine she's like you know well they're teenagers you know their parents may not let them like wear that kind of makeup but i'm like okay cool i i completely get that but first of all maybe i'm coming off as like an old head and being a little bit bitter when we decided to be alternative there was no easing into alternative you was just gonna put on that black liner and and fill it in and go super dark with everything and just accept it as it is what it is like your parents are gonna call you weird people were gonna avoid you there was no way around it Okay, I included a photo just so that y'all could see exactly what I was talking about. Like, to make it clear that when I say we covered the whole eyelid with black, I really mean the whole eyelid. Like, Sis is using a primer in this photo, but there was no primer. Like, I was literally just going in with a gel pencil and a liquid gel liner and just covering the whole lid. Like... I was Bill Collins in this bitch from Tokyo Hotel. Like, all black. Blackity black, black, black. Maybe a lip gloss, maybe a balm. But there was no, there was no pastel. There was no room for pastel in this, okay? Just, just to make this clear. All right, back to the video. But what bothered me was Hot Topic is a store that supposedly caters to the alternative and fandom communities so if you know you're a store that is like goth punk anime video game like a specific type who has a specific look why would you release a palette that is themed as pastels after Beetlejuice. Now, I know that pastel, like, punk and pastel goth and, like, rave clothing is, like, popular with pastels. That's not the issue because I get it. Those color palettes, I understand it. Cottage core is real popular right now. So a lot of people are wearing pastel makeup. That doesn't, that doesn't surprise me. I was just confused how they're a company that supposedly caters specifically to that demographic and had a pastel palette for Beetlejuice feel like those two things don't go together but whatever you know maybe i'm just i'm just old and grumpy just just my thoughts so moving on i'm gonna go with the color jungle see i want to use fiesta because it's the glittery color i just i'm trying to use it last because i don't want any transfer because glitter is kind of a pain in the butt so i'm gonna go with jungle over here um to do the uh deeper like crease color i might find a deeper shadow color or swap it all together we'll see so i'm gonna switch to this m431 brush by morphe 
it's sort of like that the one i just used but it's more of a tapered tip i'm i'm just trying to see if that works just so i can have a little bit more precision may may go into regret this so yeah okay that's not too bad yeah i think i'm gonna use this as a crease color and then probably see if i have a deeper green to use as the actual shadow color so yeah um i'm also biased because beetlejuice is like one of my favorite movies of all time like i watch it every year for halloween definitely can quote it and lydia is a fashion icon like actually everyone in that movie was iconic <laughs> gina davis as uh as the wife um and uh i can't remember her name but she's also the mom she plays on um freak i can't it's that show right now with the dude with the bushy brows and his son is his actual son in real life eugene levy and the mom from beetlejuice plays his wife oh this is kind of fire guys this brush is actually really nice um i really like this precision that came out well okay so now i'm gonna switch back to that other brush just to fluff it out a bit but um she was also the mom at home alone in both of both parts one and two i can't think of her name she has red hair i love her um of course we loved uh great i hate when i blank on people's names like this um the actress who plays lydia she, i also love her you know what she plays in my other one of my favorite movies of all time um heathers if you guys have never seen heathers i don't know you might if it depends on if you like dark comedy because i know it's not a movie for everybody um i feel like it was like the og school shooter movie before school shooters were school shooters if that makes sense um it's one of my favorite movies <sighs> they're like fucking weird and i love it um it's like i'm sure some most of you have seen mean girls by now it's like what mean girls was based off of like their og like girls being dicks to each other in school click based psychotic boyfriend type of vibe so i actually lucked out i have a deeper color green right here in the charles uh, james charles palette also by morphe i like this palette i'm Hey, you know what? I'm a broke girl, so I'm just gonna use what I what I can afford, okay? This palette hasn't steered me wrong. I also feel like it's the quintessential rainbow palette for me. Like, I don't think I need any more rainbow palettes after this one. I feel like this palette this palette in particular has really allowed me to experiment with getting better because it just covers a little bit of everything. Yeah, see? And see how that transition, like that transition shade from the other two, the other palette, which I, I think I'm going to go back in and just, um, just define it a little bit more, but this is gorgeous. I look like a beautiful green bird, you know? Um, but yeah, Heather's is really funny. It also has, uh... You know what? I'm just going to stop naming people. I'm just going to put the poster in the actual end post because clearly we know that naming people is not my strong suit. But the woman who also played Lydia and who's also in Heather's also plays the mom on Stranger Things. The main character's uh, mom. So she's been acting for quite some time. Like her face is in my head. I'm just blanking on her name for whatever reason. And I'm sure you guys already know who I'm talking about. I think I need to just go have another movie marathon and watch all the OGs. Like, Pee Wee's Playhouse, Matilda. And I'm just going back in with, with Jungle just to redefine that area. Uh, who else? Nightmare Before Christmas. I think I want to watch Paranorman. Um... I keep hearing rumors that they're supposed to be making an, a part two to Beetlejuice, but I feel like they've been telling us that for a couple years now and nothing. 
like has anybody been to that bar though that's based on Tim Burton in New York City I want to go and because I think they make special drinks modeled after his movies but I hear you need a reservation because the line the wait time is quite long I'm also going back in with Budgie in the inner corner here. Uh, eyeshadow underneath the eye, I find, is like the best way to pull a good, together eye look. Like, if nine times out of ten, if you feel like something's missing, it's because you don't have any shadow <laughs> underneath your eye. So, now, after I wipe this brush clean, I'm gonna go in with Fiesta, which is this yellow, spark, yellow green, sparkly color down here. It's like depends on how it hits the light like on the camera it's looking gold but it's like a greenish gold and then i'm gonna apply that over my actual lid um judging by how smooth it is i don't think i'm gonna need additional primer i might just have to change the brush though like it's a really fine glitter but i kind of i kind of dig that Can you see it? So now the question is, what color lip am I wearing? I'm sorry guys, I know I'm not talking. It's because I'm really focused on trying to apply this evenly. There's another claymation movie that I like too. It used to be on Netflix. It's a bit like depressing, but I don't know. I kind of like not necessarily sad movies, but I don't need movies that always have a happy ending, you know? Plus cartoons, I think, because I'm so sensitive, um, help me deal with those kinds of emotions better than to watch real people go and do it. Like I absolutely process it as of course, real people go through these things, but I think it's a little easier for me to digest when they're animated, if that makes sense. And see, I just went back in and filled filled in some gaps. So I think um, with that like tapered fluffy brush I was using, I'm just going to use that again to go apply this yellow gold in the lower corner of my eye. Um, just because I think the fluffier one isn't. And because that works so well, I'm going to go back in with that light green budgie color to um, marry the two other greens underneath my eyelid. Just so that they all connect. See? Something's missing. Can't quite put my finger on what is missing. I think, I think I wanna add one more green. I think I wanna use a darker green or brown. Something, something to define it. Okay, I think that green is too emerald-like. And that's like a pine green. I need a green. Like a. Ooh. I think this green ought to do it. This matte. Like hunter. Would that be hunter or pine green? I'm not sure. But I'm going to use that same taper brush and define right over my crease. So. Just so I have a little bit more definition in my crease. Yes. Yep, yep, I think that was it. <laughs> I think that was the missing link, was just the definition there. Okay, so now. Now I can go in 
deepen my brows, apply some mascara. I still don't know what lip color I'm gonna wear. Look at us. Record time, too. Come on. And I could apply liner, but uh, I think I'm going to skip it. Simply, simply because you girls' liner skills aren't A1, and I'd rather not mess up the look, so. giving very mod for some reason to me and I'm gonna draw my moles back in because you know that they disappear isn't that the funny part like makeup is full coverage but I can still see where the li <laughs> the light marking of my um my moles are on my face so Oh, you know what? Because we were talking about Blam Goth, I think I'm going to use her lipstick today. I'm going to line my lips with a dark brown liner and use her lipstick. I'm going to use the shade Parish. Um, so, I'm just going to put some highlight on my lips. Line my lips. This is by Sephora. This is the color 17 Molasses. And like I said before, you can absolutely fill in your lips with your liner if you want to. It's not mandatory. It's all up to you what you want to do. So that is a gel liner. That is one. And then I'm just going to add Parish by Jam Goth Beauty right on top. My lip brush to blend it in. Like, I don't even know what that fragrance is, but it smells so good. And I normally don't like when my cosmetics have a scent, but it's not overpowering at all. Okay, now we can bronze bl and blush and set. And I think, I think that'll be it for today's look. So let me pull those out real quick. Just doing a bit of cleanup here at my table. Um, I might set with a powder today. I don't know yet. So I'm gonna just bronze first because I use the same color every time. So it's Mocha Mommy by Fenty Beauty. You know what? You know what? No, because I'm gonna I'm gonna use the do the Tammy collection using all her products at one time. So I'm going to just go in with this big fluffy Morphe E4 brush and bronze around my forehead. We yes I did contour, but I'm just gonna bronze anyway just to add a little bit of warmth back into my face. Um, you don't have to bronze as low, as far down as, oh. Oh, that was eyeshadow! Ma'am! You don't have to bronze down as far as I do, but I like to do around my whole 
face so the line there's no like line of demarcation so you know what i mean um i'm not gonna bronze my chin today so we'll skip that and i don't want to use abh today for my blush I think I'm gonna go right in with this peachy color right here called Provocative in the 8W Warm Master Morphe Blush Palette. Um, and I'm gonna swap it for this Morphe E48 brush. <laughs> and yeah, right on those apples of my cheeks. And I don't need a whole lot. So that's done. I don't appreciate this. Like, I have a little bit of green fallout underneath my eyes. I'm trying to get it lightly so I don't rub my whole face off. Okay, so that is done. I've bronzed, I've blushed. Now to highlight. <sighs> I'm gonna use this angled brush that has no name. So I'll, <laughs> I'll just show you the shape of the brush. Yes, it looks a little dusty. Uh, I think that's just the light though. I just cleaned it. There's nothing on it. Um, all right. So I think I'm going to use from that same Morphe blush palette, the shade Babe, which is this gold peachy color. And I'm going to use that to highlight. Woo! Look at that shine. Rise and shine. And then I'm going to take that lip brush that I used. Actually, no, I'm gonna take that little fluffy brush I was using for my eyeshadow um, that's already clean, this little one. I'm gonna use that same babe color, take it right down the bridge of my nose. And I just like using a smaller brush because it gives me more control. Right on the tip of my nose, right on my ears, which I have to get the makeup off of my industrial bar. Okay, and right my cupid's bow all right i think that's it darling now i can spray and set her okay and now i'm gonna spray to set with the two face three and one hangover okay you can see it and As you know, I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend it down. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> and that, ladies and gents, are the is the completed look. So, I think it came out pretty damn good, y'all. So, uh, what do I think about this Revolution Birds of Paradise palette? So, I really like the packaging. The packaging is beautiful. I really enjoy the fact that it's in this tin uh, case uh, in comparison to, like, the plastic ones. Because um, the plastic ones get dirty really easily. I like the fact that this one is easily that I can wipe it down. Um, I also really like the fact that they included a mirror. The last couple of palettes I've been getting have been this, like, cardboard uh like paper material but they don't come with mirror well this one came with a mirror it's lightweight um but a lot of palettes i get really don't have mirrors included in them so that's nice that this one has a nice sturdy mirror inside um i thought the color payoff was worth worth it was worth it for sure um i definitely want to test out a couple more color looks from this palette i think they're really pretty um i think there was little to no fallout for sure which is something i've come to expect but there really wasn't any um i had to reapply but it's it's not bad like i felt like it went on really smooth especially this glittery shade 
because those are kind of finicky sometimes depending on what kind of brush you apply them with but they went on really smooth uh i like the color payoff all in all um i really enjoyed it i can't wait to try the tammy x collection too which is also by this brand and uh see what that looks like because um i know that her palette is like formulated for black girls but this i really always really love when i can come across palettes that have really bright colors that show up on brown skin like this color palette is is gorgeous um so i'll definitely be using this again in another video to create some more looks um yeah so all in all thanks again to jasmine who bought it for me um, I'll look it up and I'll put it in post to tell you how much it costs. I really don't think it costs that much. And uh, she said the shipping too got here rather quick, which I can say the same for this. I think I just bought this not last Friday, but the Friday before last. I think I got it like in the middle of the week. And if I'm not mistaken, Makeup Revolution is a UK brand. And I think, because I think Tammy is from the UK as well when I watched her videos, if I'm not mistaken. It got here relatively fast. I think I got it by Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, and I think it's free shipping for anything 50 bucks and over. So I think my order came to like $60, which wasn't bad. They were really responsive with um, all the order updates and the tracking. And I think it ended up being delivered by the post office, which are our post shout out to our postman he's really nice because he knows people steal packages so he brings them upstairs for us shout out to my skin for not stressing out working with kids for three weeks i mean it wasn't my first time working with kids but just it had been a minute and these were a completely new group that i had before so well i hope you like this video i'm sorry that i was gone but I'm back so now I can start filming tutorials again and testing out new products um, as always I hate like asking you but if you like please leave a if you like this video please leave a like if you want to come back and see me do more videos please subscribe to my channel um, be sure to like follow me on Instagram I'm not gonna put on my Twitter so much because I'm more of a reader and repost than I am like actually posting on Twitter Twitter's scary Twitter's very scary um although i enjoy it a lot but yeah so i'll be back soon to review some more stuff i'm very satisfied i can't wait to try a new color so yeah as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye